out what it even looks like. trying to film this clip for like 10 minutes but I'm on a little sunset walk by myself and it's really hard to find somewhere to balance my camera to speak to it so I think you may have the rock in front of the camera anyway I'm sorry I realized I hadn't really checked in with you or the camera for a few days since we moved locations so I thought I'd give you a bit of an update we left Puglia on Saturday and are now on the Aeolian Islands in Sicily, which is so, so beautiful. I didn't love Puglia this time. I've been once before with Hugo. I'm crashing my friends Lola and Alex's holiday to have a bit of a pre-wedding holiday. Me and Lola found this, these Aeolian Islands a few months ago and I was like desperate to come along because it's, yeah, it looks so beautiful and it has not disappointed. But I didn't love Puglia, I think I was just after, I've had like quite an intense few months with lots going on and lots of my personal life and planning a wedding and working and all of that so I was kind of ready for like a beach chill and Puglia was just, well we were in Poliamo, Poliano al Mare which was still amazing and I would definitely recommend Puglia but just like knowing where to go and what beaches to go to because the beaches we went to in the town were just so so busy and also just yeah just like really crowded and also I think a big part of when I go to a place is eating out because obviously you want to eat out when you're on holiday but also because I work in food I just love to like get inspired by the food and and the food restaurant scene was pretty uninspiring there. We did have amazing focaccia which you'll have seen and I linked the place and then we had one dinner out but then actually we spent a night in Bari on the way to Sicily and loved Bar Bari. The old town is so beautiful there's like nonnas on the streets in the evenings making fresh pasta and uh, we had dinner in a little pizzeria where I pizza which I'm usually a pasta girl but I actually had a delicious pizza and yeah then we had like a very early flight on Sunday we had a day in Palermo which well like a few hours in Palermo before we came here on yesterday which I loved Palermo I would definitely go back there I've been to Sicily once um, and yeah didn't go to Palermo went to the other side of the island but loved Palermo and would definitely go back. I have a few hours, I'm, I'm leaving a day early on the way back and I have a few hours on the way back to explore. So I'm excited because I got some recommendations from my Instagram. But yeah, we are on one of the Aeolian Islands and it's honestly the most breathtaking place. I cannot wait to come back here with Hugo. It's so untouched. It has 150 people living here and only a handful of tourists, I think we're actually in the lower side of the season because it's September, but um, I think even in the high season it's still really unbusy. There's one restaurant, one shop. It is so, so beautiful. You'll have seen in some of my clips and I'll continue to share. But yeah, it's, I feel like I, as I just mentioned, I've just had quite a um, few months of just not being in my best headspace and that's obviously always for a handful of reasons some of which I will keep to myself but I've just been really anxious and also just really stressed which I haven't 
had stress like I felt like I had in the last few months for a while and it's just been kind of overwhelming me so I've obviously been working on lots of different ways to look after my mental health and I feel like I'm coming out the other side of it but I just honestly feel like you know you get to a place and it literally just feels like you're you just like sigh a giant <laughs> breath of like <sighs> okay I can chill and this island is literally just feeling like exactly that is exactly what I needed so it's very very welcomed but yeah we are going to a house a local a woman's house today for dinner which is like the their version of a restaurant and I think we met a couple earlier who are also going so I think there's a handful of people that go and she just serves us all the food but yeah we've been making a trip down to the beach but mainly just staying at this beautiful house we're staying at that is it my I'm wearing a dress I'll try and show it to you my dress is from Scal studio which is a Danish brand and I've had it for ages it's kind of giving like a nighty vibe but it's very very comfy I actually am shocked that I'm not more burnt because this morning <laughs> my sun cream and after sun are from the same brand it's called Lancaster but they look identical <laughs> and I put the after sun on instead of putting sun cream on my body which I do not recommend or suggest anyone else does I did not do it intentionally but somehow have got away with being not burnt I think it's because I've already got quite a good base tan but yeah I, was like, I registered it at lunch and I was like oh my god thank god I'm not more burnt also you've probably registered how quietly I'm talking because the island is so quiet I mean there's a little bit of noise now but I'm just trying to show you how quiet it is it's just unreal and hopefully I can show you the sunset. Okay, I'm gonna go play some Monopoly deal with Lola and Alex, and I will see you later. Like, 
Life is actually just kind of good. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it, it also comes with, like, gratitude and, like... Yeah, and I do feel a lot of gratitude. Yeah, realising. But I, I don't know, I think, yeah, enthusiasm for me, I no notice it more with confidence because I, I reckon... The people who have come to mind to me that express enthusiasm a lot show it with confidence. Yeah. And they're kind of, like, more outgoing. My name is Lisa Hood. This is your Earth Mandala flow. Mandala means circular. So we're going to move around our mat 360 degrees. Find down the facing dog. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, we're going to bend your knees, walk your hands back towards your feet, just saying hello to the back of the mat. And then roll the spine all the way up to standing. Inhale, arms stretch up, arms lift high. Exhale, soften, release everything down towards the earth. And again, walk in your hands, facing dog, lift the heart to the sky. And then exhale, tuck in the toes. Hips come high, down with facing dog. Take a deep inhale. Yeah. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. I am. Um, I've had a very, very, very relaxed day. I woke up really early, not feeling great. I randomly started my period five days early, which is very unlike me, but it kind of threw me off guard, off, it threw me off balance because I'm really, really used to having my period literally completely on time and it's the second month in a row I've had it really early so I've had like only two weeks of the month without my period which, which is so nice um, I love that for me but yeah kind of threw me off a bit this morning but I came back around quickly me and Lola had a really nice yoga session on the balcony and then I did a bit of journaling which I'm trying to do a bit more and then we had breakfast and it just like set me in a different tone for the day. Also I'm walking very slowly because I'm walking all the way down there and it's incredibly steep. So while I video myself, I'm trying to make sure I don't fall down the hill. But yeah, I have had an extremely relaxed day today. I did a little bit of work this morning, but aside from that, I've literally just read my book and lay in the sun. I'm feeling quite sun-kissed and like I've had my time in the sun for today. But I'm heading down to the port, which is where the only shop on the island is. And we've run out of water. The water here isn't drinking water. So, oh, I'm out of the sun, okay. So I'm on a water mission and I also need to get tampons because I did not bring any with me because I didn't think I was selling my period. Actually, I didn't bring my moon cup with me, which is what I usually use. And then I'm going to get some bits for our dinner, which we're going to have. is a tiny kitchen, so we go pretty simple. I'm going to sit down for a minute. But we are going to have like a potato. I'm, I'm just like kind of improvising because the there's not like a ton of ingredients in the shop. But I'm going to make us a potato, white bean, courgette, loads of herbs. We've got buffalo mozzarella. So it's just gonna be like a kind of summery stew, I think, with like lemon. And yeah, there's loads of fresh herbs around. So I'm gonna use some from our host's garden. And then I think I'm gonna go for a swim, but there were loads of jellyfish yesterday and I'm kind of scared of jellyfish because I've been stung quite a few times. So we'll see how I feel when I get down there. What I did yesterday was I literally just dunked myself under the water a few times and then got out because I just love the feel of the water. And for the hike back up, you can see where I've come from. Might be quite nice, like cool down 
um, before. But yeah, I'm feeling good. We're gonna have a very relaxed evening tonight. I may do a bit of work when the sun goes down. And tomorrow's my last full day, which is really sad. But yeah, I will see you at the bottom. This is my route. So, hardcore on the way. Better focus so I can walk down these stairs without breaking my legs. I've gone down for a swim and it's nine o'clock. I've just finished season two of the summer I turned pretty. I binge watched the whole season in the last, the whole two seasons in the last like two weeks. It's obviously so trashy, but just so addictive and good at the same time. But I think I'm gonna do a little yoga now before it gets too hot and then try finish my book because today is my last full day, which is so sad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some yoga before the balcony gets too warm and then Lola and Alex will be soon back, I'm sure. It's lunchtime. I know. <laughs> 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 I feel kind of silly. I'm wearing Lola's hat, which looks great on her, but I feel like I do not pull it off as much. But I have had in this morning's clip, I was saying that I felt like I had really puffy eyes, but I have had actually like a bit of a rash on my face today. And I think it just might be a slight heat rash because the weather has actually been very, very hot. So <laughs> I've been covering my face, but I'm actually just gonna take it off because I feel a little silly. Yeah, it's about the same time as it was yesterday when I walked down to the town and I've actually just had a quick shower to cool off a little bit before I make the walk down but it's my last evening so I'm heading down to the shop to get some supplies for dinner. Loda and Alex went down this morning and they said the shop did not have much in it. I don't think they get, sorry the sun's right behind me, I don't think they get deliveries uh, very often <laughs> because every day the shop has just been less and less full. So it could be just a pasta with tomato sauce situation tonight, but that's not so bad. We were gonna buy some fish from a local fisherman, but Elisa, our host, doesn't want us to cook fish in her kitchen because understandably it's a teeny tiny kitchen and it's gonna stink out and she also already has problems with the local cats. So, oh, I think I might have overshot oh no i know where i am so yeah it is tomato pasta for us 
I was gonna go, there's one doctor on the, on the island and I was gonna go ask for some antihistamine, but I think since I've like kept my face out of the sun, my face is a bit better. But yeah, I'm having a bit of overwhelm, panic, feelings about life. I think that's quite a last holiday feeling, last day of holiday feeling. Returning to just a lot of work, a lot going on personally and wedding stuff, which is all exciting, but it's just a lot. And I can get quite like overwhelmed and panicked when I have that kind of thing and feelings in my head. So just trying to be calm i did some breath work this morning did some yoga i finished my book but just trying to like make sure i return in a good headspace and yeah gonna we just done two hours of work finished my book this morning then did some work this afternoon and then i'm hopefully fingers crossed there are not jellyfish but i'm gonna try and swim so yeah that is my plan i'll see you later One thing I've really felt on this island, which, although I miss Hugo a lot, is that I actually am just really happy with the simplest things in life. Um, and I actually just feel so good when I'm in the sun. I know a lot of people probably feel that, but honestly, just like simple food, sun, <laughs> access to the beach, access to the sea and that is kind of all I need so I've been very very happy and feeling very filled up in the last few days and just wanting to hold on to this feeling because this is my last feeling of summer and remind myself how good this feels in the middle of winter <laughs> In is some pasta and tomato. I ruined it. Alexio. No. Oh, well. At least I got into dinner. Just leaves my mind 